Somewhere along the way, the economy of Niagara Falls got off track. But today, after 12 years of Mayor Paul Deister's leadership, there are more than 100 development projects underway in the Niagara Falls area. Projects worth $2.4 billion. That makes the Niagara Falls area the second hottest place for development in Western New York, according to Buffalo Business First. One of the projects that is helping get our city back on track is the new train station, the Underground Railroad Heritage Center at the foot of Main Street as well. This train station is the first real touch point between our region and the growing Toronto region and making sure that this site, this train station was uh, welcoming and effective and designed for the purpose that it can serve in the future was a very visionary step and he deserves all the credit in the world for leading that effort. And but for this, I don't think there'd be nearly the interest in the North End that there is today. Like the train station, many other development projects are breathing new life into the buildings that were nearly lost to the wrecking ball. We were looking at a $1.2 million demolition. Instead, we have a $24 million project that's gonna be a source of pride for this neighborhood for generations to come. Now the city is hoping to turn this into this. People have been wondering what's going to happen to Hotel Niagara. Well, now we know. We know in about two years, this will be a high-end hotel. The casino development, the hotel development, development around the hospital, development on uh, 3rd Street. Uh, you know, we sort of, in some sense, have urban blight surrounded. Perhaps the greatest impact has been the South End, where public and private dollars are remaking our tourist district. And he, he's been really uh, responsible for a lot of income from the state, so the grants and so on for hotels. We have Nader and I have modern hotels downtown, and that's generated a lot of activity in the Fall Street area. The numbers are in, and tourism is on the rise big time in downtown Niagara Falls. Year to date, visitors are up 154% from last year. More people are coming to Niagara Falls, and more people are staying. Hotel occupancy is up 5%. This is the new mantra for Old Falls Street. After years of major renovations, Niagara Falls State Park and the city are connected both physically and visually. For those of us, you know, in our generation, downtown Niagara Falls has never looked better. Old Falls Street and, you know, the hotels that have um, been developed and the insulated businesses and the investments in the park, but that's all come together and the mayor's been able to build a partnership with the state that's allowed this growth to happen. Uh, it's truly remarkable. Now you're going to have what was a vacant corner is going to be very, very vibrant, full of uh, life. And not just tourism. Old industrial sites are transforming into new, cleaner places for work. Tulip Molded Plastics held a ribbon cutting ceremony for its new $11.7 million facility on Highland Avenue. The old Union Carbide Complex had been a vacant eyesore for decades. And then lo and behold, before we could even finish the renovation of the building, Sandstone Springs came forward and said, look, we're looking to do a major expansion in Niagara Falls. And when we had the opportunity uh, you know, to walk through the plant to, for the first time, I think there was a real sense of pride and accomplishment that we were turning the corner, that we were creating an industrial base here in Niagara Falls uh, that was going to carry us forward from the 20th century into the 21st century. And in LaSalle, we've seen unprecedented retail growth. On Mayor Paul Deister's signature issue, the Niagara Scenic Parkway, progress is ready to spill into the city. That parkway is still there if it's not for Paul Deister. And if that parkway is still there, then we don't see the growth on the fringes of that as we're reconnecting the city to the waterfront. It is my pleasure to announce that you have won in the DRI first place $10 million. Congratulations. It's one of those projects that people thought was never going to get done. Niagara Falls Mayor Paul Deister announced that Buffalo-based investment group Blue Cardinal Capital has bought 38 properties in the city, 21 of them along Main Street, with designs on redevelopment. One of the things that impressed me most about the mayor right away was he had a, a great vision going back a long time, frankly, in terms of what needed to happen to to kind of create a, an atmosphere where private investors would be interested in Niagara Falls. And really that started with the removal of the Robert Moses Parkway. 
as he's described it to me in the last uh, couple of years that I've known him, it was really his mission uh, when he became mayor to, to try and see that happen. It took a leader like Paul Dystra to seek the city's long dormant dreams with the priorities of federal, state, and private partners. My administration has been determined from day one to right the wrongs of 1960s and 1970s urban renewal, when 13 full blocks of our downtown were demolished to make way for development that never came. And now, 50 years after we went off track, we have the beginnings of real urban renewal. But much work remains to be done, but the train is finally headed back to the station. That's the Deister legacy.